Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up everybody, it's the Ginger Yeti and I'm checking in from the road. Today I'm hanging out backstage at Sala Riviera in Madrid, Spain. Whitechapel's on stage, I figured it was time to have a beer. So, today I have Cinco Estrella Miastra Cerveza. I'm sure I butchered all of that. Um, it's from Grupo Mahu Mehu San Miguel. Uh, unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish, so I can't read anything on the back of the bottle. It is 5.5% alcohol. I'm sure this is going to be like a yellow fizzy beer. The last time I had this beer, I gave it a two. Hopefully this beer is better this time. And today, I'm going to bring back the iconic plastic cup. So, when untapped, this got a 2.97. And on Beer Advocate, it got a 69 pour. So it's not looking too good for this being any better than the 2.0 that I gave it originally. But, you never know. That is crystal clear. I mean, that is real clear, see right through it. A lot of fine bubbles in it. It does have a nice white head, about a finger's worth. Some big fish eye bubbles in it. Uh, smell. Not much of a smell. You get a little bit of a Euro lager kind of smell, but nothing crazy. Yeah, not much to it at all, really, for as far as smell goes. The color, got my awesome SRM chart here. Air conditioner's blowing around. And I'm gonna give this a... Uh, I think it's about a five Ohio. Five Ohio is what color this is. Anyways, let's get into this. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I think I think two's about accurate on that. At first, there's not much flavor to it. It's just kind of your average Euro lager, Euro beer. And it doesn't really taste too bad. But then the aftertaste is this like bitter nonsense. Like there's a lot of bitterness on the back end. I don't think belongs. When I think of Spain, I think of hot climates and I'd want a nice light lager. This, if it didn't have that bitterness on the back end, would actually be all right. As far as the body goes, it's light to medium body. There's actually more body there than I expected. But overall, it's just kind of a light to medium body beer. Now, if you can get over that bitter taste, and I, I don't, I don't even know if I want to say it's a hot bitterness as much as just like bitter. I, I, I don't know if you understand the difference between that, but it's just kind of weird. It's just, it's kind of a bitter taste in the back end, which kind of ruins this beer. Um, I guess if you had nothing else around, this would be serviceable. To me, I would just give this up. Me, eh, like, I would not buy this in the store. I would not buy this at the bar. Maybe if it was a dollar, a euro whatever, something cheap at a bar on special, I might think about it. Kind of like those dollar PBR nights. But I would definitely not search this out. I wouldn't go looking for it. I wouldn't purposely drink it. But when it's in the backstage and it's free, what are you gonna do? At any rate, I hear the last song starting to play. So I gotta get out there and get ready to pack up the trailer. Till next time, everybody, huzzah.